hello my awesome scorpios i missed you guys scorpio i hope you're doing wonderful it's thursday so scorpio hang in there it's almost weekend time i'm excited for us scorpio you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first we're going to ask what's coming towards you scorpio what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how your soulmate is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Scorpio. I hope you're doing wonderful, guys. <clears throat> Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with facing in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Scorpio in their life? This one wants to come at me as extra message. Very important. Let's see, Scorpio. Wow. So, yeah. So this is you concentrating heavily on your soulmate. This person has been on your mind a lot. Uh, they haven't been coming forward, uh, not communicating. Uh, hmm. This person cares for you deeply, but they're not taking action. It's like they're not being proactive in this connection for whatever reason or reasons. This is you. You've been through a lot in this connection. You're tired. You're exhausted. Yeah, you're waiting on some kind of important communication from this person or feeling that you're going to have to have a lot of inner strength to reach out to them. You see, there are problems with communication over here. This is you having sleepless nights over this connection with your person. Yeah, sleepless nights, a lot of uh, emotions up and down, running up and down, up and down, emotional roller coasters, heartbreak showing up here. My goodness, I'm sorry you're going through so much. Why is this falling out? Yeah, you see? Look how unbalanced the justice scales are. So for whatever reason, this person couldn't or wouldn't put work into this. You see how greatly unbalanced this. That's why uh, you are so drained. You've been putting work into this, you see, and they haven't for some reason. They're not reciprocating, not communicating, not putting work into this. Let me see bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at this. You are single alone. Uh, so you showing up, universe is recognizing you as not in a relationship with this person, you see. But your energy is beautiful, whether you're male or female. This is the minor arcana of the Empress energy. You're holding this Empress energy. This is you holding your standards high, knowing your worth as a person. Yeah, uh, knowing that you deserve someone who reciprocates, who puts work into this. You see, you feel alone in this connection, heartbroken. Sleepless night showing up here. Yeah. Um, this is you. Attractive. Available for a relationship. Uh, very strong-willed. Very independent. Financially. Emotionally. Yeah. You've done all you could do. You see. You, you've put work into this. But the person for some reason is not putting or not wanting to put work into this. In a few minutes we're going to ask what's going on with this person. Universe, please show us. What's coming towards Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey and what's coming towards Scorpio? So I know not all Scorpios are going through the same situation. This is for the group of you Scorpios that are uh, dealing with someone who's not reciprocating, not communicating, not extending olive branch, not initiating communication, not showing your emotions. They basically not putting any work into this connection with you. You feel alone in this connection. Yeah, you were hoping that this would end up a long-term commitment. That's what you were hoping for. See, they haven't, because they're showing up as reverse knight of uh, pentacles. They haven't put work into this. 
Yeah, you see, you feel alone, sad. You miss this person, though. You love this person. You miss them. This is you feeling alone, abandoned. Yeah, you see, you've been putting work into this. Yeah, you're interested in this person. So you're not really interested in anybody else. You have invested a lot of time and energy and love into this connection. Yeah, this is you waiting. You've been waiting. Yeah, you see, tower moment had to happen because... Uh, you did the work the other person didn't reciprocate. It had to uh, be dismantled, you see. The tower moment had to happen. Uh, for a relationship to be successful, both people need to work at it. You can't have just one person doing 100% and the other one 30% or 50% and thinking it's going to work. It's not. Yeah, you see, this is nerve-wracking for you. A lot of sleepless nights. You're doing well at your job or business. Wow, you love this person a lot. This person cares for you deeply emotionally, but they're not expressing emotions for some reason, not telling you how deeply they love you. This is hidden love, unspoken love. This person loves you deeply, but there's something going on that is preventing them from extending the olive branch, uh, from uh, putting work into this. Let me see. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you see, you've been waiting. You've been waiting on communication from this person. Some kind of a sign. Yeah, you see, this is you hoping, praying, wishing that this will work out. This is you viewing them as lifetime commitment that you want to have. Yeah, you feel uh, abandoned emotionally. You feel alone in this. There's some kind of relationship coming to you. Look at this beautiful energy. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. Uh, whoever it is that will offer this beautiful relationship to you, uh, obviously will be put, putting work into it. So whether this person will finally put work into this or new soulmate, We'll put work into this. We'll see. Um, that will remain to be seen. You see communication coming through. Important communication. Eight of Wands. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. So this is whoever you thinking of while watching this video. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Scorpio. The soulmate of Scorpio. What is going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time? Let's see. One extra message. Wow. This person cares for you deeply. They want to reconcile with you. This person wants reconciliation with you. Yeah, they tired of not uh, having this moving along. <clears throat> yeah, they want to take action, but they're not doing it. It's like they have no faith in themselves or no faith in this connection. Look at this. It's like they're losing hope because the sun is reversed. Ah, my goodness. Yeah, but yet they don't want to lose you, but they something is preventing them. Their past is preventing them. Yeah, this is unhealed wounds from the past. Uh, yeah, unhealed wounds, heartbreak from the past, and they're not able to open up emotionally fully. Wow. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, they're holding on to you. This person loves you. They're holding on to you, not letting you go, not releasing you. Yeah, they love you deeply. Yeah, you see, deep love. They want to reconcile because they love you deeply. <clears throat> yeah, they want to see you. Three of Cups. This person wants to see you, have a reunion, spend time with you. Three of Cups is good. But you see, when you add Three of Cups with Two of Cups, it becomes Five of Cups. This person feels like maybe they lost you. They're very sad, regretful, heartbroken. 
Yeah, you see, they haven't been communicating, telling you where you stand, how they feel about you. This is them checking up on you, keeping tabs on you, Page of Swords. Look how guarded you are towards your soulmate. This is you very guarded. You either cut them off or let them go or stop reaching out to them or uh, gave them a cold shoulder. This is you extremely uh, guarded emotionally towards your soulmate. Uh, you let them go more than once. But I think you finally made up your mind that you can't do this anymore. Yeah, this is you letting them go even though you love this person. Yeah, look how guarded you are, extremely guarded. Yeah, with your heart. Yeah. <sighs> this is how they view you, very guarded towards them. They miss you a lot. They want to see you. Yeah, this is them missing you a lot. Yeah, you see, they want reunion with you. Four of Wands is showing up twice. This person wants to reunite with you. <clears throat> but they're showing up as a page not consistent with communication, not telling you where you stand or how they feel. Um, you're extremely guarded, not trusting. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's going on here. University show us, how is the soulmate of Scorpio at this time? Wow. <clears throat> they do want to put work into this, but they're scared you're going to reject them. This is them fearing that you're going to say no to another chance, yeah. You're trying to figure out how to approach this correctly, yeah. This is nerve wracking for them. <clears throat> they want to be successful at this, at this uh, return to you. This person wants to be successful. Hmm. This is nerve wracking to them. This person wants to fight for you. Oof. This is heavy, Scorpio. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, new soulmates entering your life, new beginnings, new chapters in your life. Whatever it is uh, the universe feels you need to know for your highest good, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.